Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. Dollar Tree sometimes has an item of the week, which is DVDs and Blu-rays for $1 each. So I always go and pick those up. I've been doing it probably for about two years, I would say. Maybe a year and a half. But uh, I've definitely done it quite a few times, and sometimes they have some pretty cool stuff. So I thought I'd get on and show you what I picked up. Today is Friday, August 21st, and that is when the new batch is supposed to be coming out. And I went to mm, like six Dollar Trees, I think, that are in my town. And all of them had it out except two of them. So I did pick up quite a few and then one of them actually had them out early yesterday. So I was able to pick up some from that one. But without further ado, let's get into what I picked up. So the first one is not actually a DVD or Blu-ray, but it is related to that. And this is one that I found and I was like, wow, this is kind of cool. So this is the secret history of Twin Peaks. And it looks just like there's a whole bunch of just random stuff. I haven't watched Twin Peaks. I've rewatched the first episode several times trying to get into it and just never could. But I definitely want to get into it. So I probably need to just kind of uh, suck it up and watch the rest because I've heard it's very good. All right, so let's get into the DVDs that I picked up. So the first one is The Hitchhiker. This is volume one. Apparently there were three volumes. I looked this up last night. Apparently there were three volumes of the show that came out in the United States. So this has 10 episodes on it. Um, they're not in order or anything. I guess the show is a standalone show, so it doesn't need to be in order. I also picked up this one, which is Killers Within. It just looks kind of interesting. It's probably going to be a pretty cheesy movie, a cheesy horror movie, but you know, sometimes those are pretty good, so I figured I would pick it up and give it a shot. Also, just to mention, a couple of these are from last month, so from the July sale, but they were either mixed in, left over, or whatever, and I was not able to find them back at home where I was, but I'm currently at college, so I have access to a lot more Dollar Trees. So this is like one from that I found that was left over. This is Dan TDM on tour, and this is like a YouTube documentary, like a YouTube stand-up show. Uh, I don't know anything about it. I don't know who this guy is, but I figured I would uh, pick it up and give it a shot. That's kind of a theme of the Dollar Tree sales are if something looks interesting for a dollar, you should probably pick it up. Then we have this one, which is also a leftover from July. This is called Winging It. It's a French television show. This is season one. And it's kind of interesting. I watched a couple of the episodes of it. It's definitely like a Disney Channel show. All right, and then some of the ones that I picked up today are Scary Stories. And this is like a documentary about scary stories to tell in the dark. I picked this one up. This is John and Kate Plus 8 Season 5 Big Changes. So my mom used to watch this show a lot, so I caught quite a few episodes of it. But um, it's always kind of interesting to pick up full television seasons at the Dollar Tree. I picked this one up. This is Murder Party. This one sounds pretty interesting as well. It looks quite good. Um, and as far as I could tell, it was not on Blu-ray. One of the things about the Dollar Tree sale, well, any sale that I do, is I won't buy a movie on DVD if I can get it on Blu-ray. And so I always go and I check on Blu-ray.com to see if the movie has been released on Blu-ray. And if it has, then I won't buy it on DVD. I also picked this one up. This is called The Comet Kids. It looks very interesting and it really honestly kind of looks like a Stranger Things ripoff. But, you know, it could be kind of decent. So I figured I would pick this one up. And then this one I picked up specifically for um, this Batman vs. Dracula. Uh, but it also comes with the Batman Superman movie. Which I already have and I have it up for sale because it is... All the episodes in it are on the Batman the Animated Series. But uh, from what I could tell, this Batman vs. Dracula had never been released before. And I didn't even know there was a Batman vs. Dracula movie, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Alright, so now let's get into the Blu-rays. 
Uh, I'll start with the ones that I picked up yesterday, and then I'll do the ones that I picked up today. So I picked this one up. This is a leftover. This is a place at the table. This is a documentary. And I typically tend to like documentaries, so I figured I would pick that one up. This is Monster High Electrified. I am fascinated with the idea of Monster High. I don't know. I figured I would pick it up for a dollar uh, and give it a shot, but I don't know if I will like the animated uh, movies or whatever, but I like the idea of Monster High. I just wish it was a little... I feel like if it was a little more teenage, it would be kind of cool. Then we have Playback, which I... By all accounts, is a not a good movie, but I figured I would pick it up and give it a shot. Then we have Distorted, which I don't really know too much about, but uh, for a dollar, you can't really go too wrong. I mean, if I don't like it, then I'll just uh, give it to somebody or whatever. I also picked up Jonathan with Ansel Elgore. I picked up Elizabeth Harvest, which is a Scream Factory IFC Midnight title. I picked up Beyond Skyline, which is the second movie, it's the sequel to Skyline. I actually really enjoyed Skyline, so I am interested to see what this movie is about. Then I also picked up Dark Was the Night. It looked interesting, I don't know if it'll be any good, but you know, whatever. <laughs> then I also picked up The Butterfly Effect, which, or The Butterfly Effect 2, which is actually an upgrade to my collection. All right, so now let's get into the ones that I picked up today. So I picked this one up. This is one last thing. I don't really know really anything about this movie, but it looked interesting. Uh, this is an upgrade to my collection, which I actually bought the DVD of it the last time because I was like, this movie is not going to be on Blu-ray. And then turns out it was. So this is Help, I Shrunk the Teacher. I have no idea if this is any kind of relation to the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids series, but... Uh, it looked kind of interesting and potentially like that, so I was like, well, you know what, for a dollar I'll give it a try. I picked this one up, which is the Sharkansas Women's Prison Massacre, which is also a Scream Factory title, one of the, like, new Scream Factory titles. Um, it is, like, damaged, I saw, I noticed. Um, like, this whole back portion is, like, taken off, so that's kind of interesting, but I have a, some extra Blu-ray cases so I can just easily switch that one out. This is another Monster High. This is Monster High Great Scarier Reef. So that looked kind of interesting. Uh, this is another one. This is a G-Kids release and this is The Prophet, uh, which I have a couple of the other G-Kids releases of the Studio Ghibli films. So I decided I was going to pick this one up. It's from the director of The Lion King, so that one was pretty cool. Uh, Frenzy, which I'm pretty sure people were finding in July, but I unfortunately didn't, so I figured I would pick that one up now. Another one that was found a long time ago was Howl, um, and some people have said this is pretty good. I don't know, I like werewolf movies, so I figured I'd definitely give it a shot. Then we have Anthem of a Teenage Prophet. This one was being found before and I am actually a pretty big fan of Cameron Moynihan so because from um, Shameless so I'm glad to have found this one and then the last one which is kind of boring this is AD the Bible continues and I mostly bought this because it's a four disc case and I'm gonna just take the case and use it for another movie so that is it for this Dollar Tree DVD and Blu-ray haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like if you liked it. Let me know in the comments down below what you picked up from Dollar Tree, if your Dollar Tree had anything exciting, anything different from what mine had. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.